happening? What is this? It's not good. Look. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. What is that? I don't know, Grace. It got open. Who it's opened it? Right. How did it get open? Grace, I don't know. See, a massive storm come in. This isn't good. Hold on. Grace, we need to call animal control or something. This is not good. Yeah. I'd like to report some sort of like mysterious animal in our backyard. Yeah, I think it escaped. Out of a treasure chest. Out of some sort of box that was in the pond. It must have started growing or something. And there's a massive storm. Whoa! We need to get it done quick. Ah! We need it. Yeah, we need to here quick. Quick. Yes, I, I think it's up by the house. I think it's up by the house. You see it? Yes, it, it, as soon as you can get here. Hurry, yeah. Steve. Ah! Grace, is that animal control? Yeah, 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 they're here, they're here. Oh, hi, hey, can you help us? No camera, please. Sorry. I heard there was a, a bear or a large animal that possibly dangerous. I think even crazier than a bear. Yeah, it was some sort of big kind of creature. It was, um, well, I, I don't know, I didn't see it, but I, where do you think it went, Grace? Up to the house by the garage. Was yeah. it underwater? Yeah, that's where we originally got the chest thing. Yeah, so crazy story. We think this animal came out of a treasure chest from underwater. Um, okay, let's take a look. I haven't heard like something like this before. Yeah, we're not sure exactly where it went, but we've been hearing strange noises in the house now. Yeah, we have no idea what type of animal it could be. Okay, it sounds like we might need to call in backup. This sounds like a project. So, what do we do in the meantime? Alright, just hang tight. My crew will be here in 20 minutes. Uh, okay. Okay, just hurry because it looks like it's huge. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Good thing we called animal control. Yeah, he needs extra crew to come, that's crazy. Something weird is going on, Sherry, and as soon as that chest opened up, look at the crazy storm that happened. Yeah, it's like so stormy out there. I don't know if it was a coincidence or not, but as soon as I noticed that that chest was open, it started storming like crazy. You can't even see out the window, that's how crazy it is. The pond is covered with yeah, raindrops. Yeah, and look behind you, that dark sky, so wow. Let's, let's hope he gets his crew here soon and captures whatever animal came out of that chest. Yeah, is it, is it crazy. down there? It's like, still there. Sure, can you see, like, there was stuff left around it, like goopy stuff, slime. Yeah, all right, Chris, I'm gonna go look at the front window to see if it's here, yeah. We gotta get animal control on this. Yeah. Anything? No, it's a massive storm, though. This is a massive storm break. We haven't had a storm like this, especially this early in the year. Something yeah, weird something really weird. Cheers, comment down below if you like thunderstorms, because I think that's what this thing is. Steven, I don't think this is a storm. I think this is a tropical cyclone or something. Yeah, I agree. These better come quick. We gotta figure out what is going on. Why is the animal causing this? Quick, get inside. Yeah. Hurry, hurry. I don't know. Crazy. She's here. Open up. All right, shh, keep the camera quiet, okay? Okay. Hello. Hello, I'm here with my crew. We brought some heavy equipment. Heavy equipment? Oh uh, yeah, so it looks like we actually might need to dig up the backyard. The animal might have gone underground. Underground? Yeah, the one that was in the treasure chest might be hiding underground. So I brought a digger and my crew and I are gonna dig up the backyard. Uh, okay. All right, uh, sounds good. Uh, you don't have any pets by chance, do you? <gasps> yeah, of yeah. course, we have Baby Otter and Cooper, why? We're gonna need to put them inside. This is a very dangerous procedure. Okay, I'll go make sure the dogs are inside. Okay, thank All you All right, so thank you. Sounds like it's a bigger project than we thought. Let's go make sure the dogs are inside. Yeah, we gotta make sure Baby Otter and Cooper are safe. Huh? Oh, there you are. There they are. Hi. <laughs> All right, we gotta make sure you guys stay in the kitchen. Oh, Otter's so scared. <gasps> look at Otter, he hates storms. Oh, baby Otter. Or maybe Otter. the monster's scaring okay? him. Grace, look, he's so scared he's hugging my arm. Aww. That's how scared Otter is. You okay? Oh, you wanted a kiss. Okay, let's and go make sure. And look at Cooper. Cooper, yeah. you okay? I don't think Cooper's scared of storms, but Otter's so scared. Look how scared he is. He's hugging me. Aww. Aww, it's okay, Otter. Don't cry. All right, Chris, let's go uh, make sure the back door is closed real quick. Okay, let me get Cooper. Cooper, sit. Sit. That's a good boy. Okay, let me pick up Cooper. So that way we have the dogs on watch 24-7 and we don't leave our eyes off them because you guys need to be safe. All right, back door's closed. You guys stay in here, okay? You'll be safe in here. They're gonna find out where this monster went, okay? Yeah, we'll take good okay, care Otter. of you, Otter. Okay, sounds good. He's knocking again. Hold on, let me grab the door real quick. Should I stay here? No, come. We gotta figure out what he's gonna say. Okay, I'll, I'll leave the dogs behind the gate. Come on, Grace. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. 
Hey, uh, we got the dogs inside already. Perfect. So we actually got pretty far, but it looks like we're going to need some heavier equipment because the monster might have gone really deep underground. Wait, you already started digging? Yeah, you're welcome to come check it out. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay. How far did you get? Oh, uh, we dug about 10 feet down, but we have a lot more to go. 10 feet and you didn't find anything? No, it could be very deep. It could be 30 feet underground. Are you serious? Absolutely, sir. Oh, wow. All right, follow me to the backyard. We'll show you everything we've done. All right, let's go. Be careful not to film his face too close. Okay, I'll hide the camera. Sure, smash the like button. We're not allowed to show his face, but we want to show you this content. So, come on, let's go. We just make sure you don't get his face too much. Okay? okay, I'll hide the camera, and I'll take the chances of getting yelled at. Yeah, don't, don't let him see you. All right, sorry. How far back is it, sir? Well, it's right by the house. It looks like the monster slithered his way up the hill, and it's now digging right next to the house. Oh. Next to the house? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What did you do back Oh there? my, yeah, oh my. From here all the way down there, and then we ran these pipes up to check underneath the ground. But so far, no signs, that's why we brought these, and now we're digging more. Okay, um, oh my wow. Goodness. Shares, this is a mess back here. You didn't find a monster after all this mess? No, so this is about a 10 to 15 foot drop right there, but it looks like but they could be up to 30 feet down. Okay, so you gotta dig farther, deeper down? Absolutely. So we're waiting on uh, heavier equipment. Oh, look at this. What is this? Yuck, this is nasty. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh look, there's like marking. What's this marking? Sure, what's all this marking here? Uh, we're just putting a perimeter up so that way no one can access the site. Steven, do you hear that? What is that noise, sir? Uh, that could be a monster or it's probably just a thunder. That is the loudest and longest thunder I've ever heard. Yeah, so this fence down here is actually a silt fence and it has Kevlar to make sure the monster can't bite through underground. Oh, whoa. Whoa. That's intense. Yeah, here, come take a look. So the monster area is a biter. Yes, the monster could be very dangerous. That's why we're jigging just to make sure. You put this all up in today? Yeah, we just put it up real quick. It took about five minutes. But as you can see, it's very, very strong stuff and it can't be ripped. So that way the monster couldn't get through and it goes all the way down underground. Is it, oh, it's waterproof too, look oh, at that. Oh, look, it goes into underground. Oh, wait, yeah. how, how far underground did you dig it? Uh, we put it about 40 feet underground because the monster can only go down 30. Um, but we've only dug down 15 feet so far, so we need to check out more space. Wow, this is a strong fence. Yeah. yeah. Let me actually uh, take you guys down over here and I can show you the rest. So as you can see, we put it up all along right here. So that way there's no chance that the monster can come down from here. It can't get back to the pond or down here at all. The only way the monster can go is up and basically away from the house. Right, except that's also blocked off. You saw the orange paint on the ground. Yeah. That signifies that there's a wall underground as well. So we made sure that the construction zone continues all the way down to here, right where the stairs are. And then as well, let's go take a look at where we've been digging. Okay, so um, I guess the question is, are we allowed to be in the backyard? Like can Otter and Baby Otter and Cooper come back here and play? No, for now we need to make sure that no one comes back here except with supervision due to safety reasons. Okay, so I guess Otter and Cooper are gonna have to stay in the front yard. Yeah, it's all crazy back here. Wow. Whoa. This is a lot more than expected. So as you can see, we've been digging all up along this hill. We've actually taken out a lot of dirt and put it over there. Um, so that way we can excavate further underground. Okay. Wow. Wait, remember there was a snake here yesterday, Grace? Oh, yeah. Did you see a snake when you were digging at all? No, these machines are too big to pick up small items like that. Okay. Good news is, uh, I guess the snake went somewhere else. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Whoa, what is this stuff? It looks like a lava rock. Yeah, yeah, it does. You're actually correct. That is lava rock. It's a lot more dense, which then prevents the monster from being able to climb through it. Oh, whoa. Wait, so why don't get it? What kind, what kind of monster do you think we're dealing with? We honestly have no clue at this point. We just know that he could be very deep underground, and so we're trying to make sure that he doesn't come up above the ground. Was there a hole that he like slid through? Like, how do you, how do you know exactly that he's in this area? I don't understand. Um, so as you can see over there, there is a small hole. Um, but we don't think that that's where he went through just because we anticipate that he's much bigger than that. How big are we talking? Could be 30 feet long, 40 feet <gasps> long, we have no idea. Wait, 30 to 40 feet? What? It came out of a little treasure chest. Yeah, so one of this animal's possible characteristics is that it could compact itself to be as small or large as it needs to be to fit a various space. Whoa, this sounds like it's something intense. So another interesting point that we actually found over here, you see this red plant life over here? Um, the bushes right here. Right. So this is actually rhubarb, which isn't native to your area. Rhubarb or rhubarb? Rhubarb. Rhubarb, rhubarb is metal. Okay. Can we this, eat it? Uh, I would personally not eat it. However, 
this may be what the monster was looking for because he can eat it. Whoa. So you think the monster is after the rhubarb? Possibly. That's what we're wondering. So I made sure to dig it all up and put it over here in a contained space. So that way if he does try to come back and eat it, then we can trap him. So this could be the, the type of food that the monster likes to eat? Right, exactly. It's very red, Grace. Yeah, it's like crazy. It kind of looks like bones. Right, so this is actually a sweet, sugary plant that the monster might be after. So because there is a food source right here next to where the monster could be, if at night for any reason, before I come back tomorrow, he does come out, we have these machines right here that are very safe and sealed off from everything outside. So we should jump in them? Right. So muddy. <gasps> Whoa. Oh no. Careful, Steven. Okay. <gasps> oh gosh. Whoa. Be careful, Grace. Woo. All right, so check out this heavy equipment. It's pretty neat. Whoa. And what do you do in it? So you hop in and you've got all these different controls. Why don't you hop, hop in? in? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> this thing is actually kind of small. Do Whoa. you fit? Oh, yeah, barely. It's Whoa. small, but it's safe. Okay. And that's what's important. And what do you do? Right, so that controls the arm right there. That moves the bucket okay. up and down. Cool, okay. So wait, I, I don't if the monster comes out, do I drive it? No, you just need to be in it, but you could drive it. This is pretty cool. There's look at all this. Shares, come look at all this stuff, Grace. Come here. Okay. Look at this thing. I got a control up here. Whoa. And then I have controls over here. There's even air conditioning in this thing. That's cool. Whoa, this thing is intense. Yeah. Whoa. Alright, I think uh we're gonna need a little tutorial on how to drive this thing. This thing is pretty cool. Yeah. If any monster comes in, Grace, look, you can close this off. Whoa. They can close me in like this. Oh yeah. Whoa. No monster is getting in here. I'm safe. So it looks pretty small, but it can actually fit up to two people if you really need to put two people in here. Okay. Cool, Grace. So you can fit in here too. Yeah, it just might not be that comfortable because it's teeny. Alright, well I gotta get going and get that heavy equipment. But let me know if anything happens tonight and make sure you take pictures and record it. Of any activity? Right, so if you see oh, anything boy. wandering around, make sure you hop in here and then take as many pictures and videos as you can. Okay, sounds good. Okay. All right, thank you for your time. Yep, thank you guys. Thank you. All right, well, we got a big monster on our hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um. The whole yard is completely destroyed, Steven. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do, Shares. This is a lot bigger than expected. How do you work this thing, Grace? You, you gotta put, yeah. Okay, we gotta know how to use this thing, just in case. Wow. All right, well, uh, we've got a lot going on here, Shares. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get ready because I don't even know what's gonna happen next. So yeah. until then, you know what to do. Stay awesome and share the love. Peace. Woo!